Now it's time to quickly play our rapid fire round. Yep. So this is how it works. Basically, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. And the first thing that comes to your mind, you're just yep. going to say it, okay? Okay. No thinking. Okay. okay. You can think a little bit. We like you, so we'll let you think. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Want another sip? You're, you've got the energy? Let's go. Question number one. Name the most expensive thing you've ever bought. Um, my wife's wedding ring. Oh, can we put a figure out there? No, there's no figure. It's priceless. Most famous person in your phone? Uh, Ravi Singh. How did you get his number? Oh, he's a fan of High Heels. So I met him at the premiere of Ki with Arjun Kapoor and Karina Kapoor's uh, film. Um, and we just clicked, like, we met him. And he just loved, he loved High Heels when it came out years yeah. ago. And then he just wrapped the song with me on, on my Instagram, so. Do you ever text him? Um, yeah, when he released Bad Mama I did, yeah. Who is the most famous person that has recognized you? Karina Kapoor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah, Karina Kapoor. Can you quickly tell us the moment when she came up to you? Well, um, it was at a premiere, but, but a success party of a song, um, Ki and Ka, of, of the highest oh, yeah? nature song. So I met her at the, uh, there, and she came up to me, and, and the director's like, and she was like, oh, okay, I love that song, High Heels, man. I couldn't actually speak to her, as I got starstruck. I don't really get starstruck. Oh, wow. But I was starstruck. So Karina Kapoor is probably... Um, one the most famous that's all oh, that's awesome yeah who do you get mistaken for I don't really get mistaken for anybody no one's come up to me like oh my god I love you and you think it's you and then they're like oh they think you're back another singer day, <laughs> back in the days it was H. Dummy oh yeah, yeah I can see that well, yeah. name the book you're reading right now um you know I'm trying to read uh, Humble the Poets um, oh yeah yeah Unlearn, the one that it? just came out yeah no the, the first one is it Unlearn was it the first one Oh yeah, okay. I'm trying to read that. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Um, the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me is when I was at university. Basically, what happened was um, I wanted to become a DJ at one point, okay. and my brother used to do like pre-mixes. So my mate put on a night in a club in a club in Liverpool. It was a Punjabi night, and I had my brother remix all these like a back-to-back -back mix of um, of songs. A DJ came on to the set. He was smashing it, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show this guy because I've got a pre-mix ready. Mm -hmm. And then I've gone on to, on to play the mix, played the first track, killed it, like killed it, next level. Everyone's just jamming, going, yo, it's sick, sick, sick. And then the CD starts jumping. <laughs> so the whole club's like, boo, I'm like, oh no. And that was the end of my, my um, DJing career. Oh, you could have come back. No, it was just, it just, that was the day when I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna become a DJ. I'd <laughs> rather just sing. At least, I, at least I'm not gonna stop when I'm singing, right? Let's say you throw a party. Name your three dream guests. Mm. Dream guests. Uh, it would be Drake. Um, no, actually, I'm going to get singers in. I'll have Sardu Sikandar, which I met about three weeks ago. Amazing, my, my, my idol. Um, I'd have someone like, is it, uh, okay, is it um, people that have, have left this earth or people? You anyone? know what, let's anyone. open it up. Sure, anyone. Oh, okay, Michael Jackson. It would be. Um... Uh, it'll be uh, Sardu Sikandar and it'll be uh, Lauren Hill. Last song you listened to? Um, it was a song by an artist today actually, but an artist called Pink Sweat. Okay, I haven't even listened to that. Yeah. yeah. Brand uh, new. It's called Beautiful, I think. Your most prized possession? Uh, my harmonium. If you could watch one reality show, what show would it be? Um, I don't really watch them. I don't really watch much You're TV. You're forced to. You have to watch um, one reality show. I, I'd watch the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last thing you Googled? The last thing I Googled was um, the name. Kardashian. I can't <laughs> remember what the last thing I Googled. I can't remember. If you could trade lives with anyone, who would you trade lives with? Nobody. I love my life. Name a song that another artist did, but you wish you had done. Gangana, Dr. Zeus and Master Rakesh. Why? My favorite song that Dr. Zeus ever produced. And I think the melody and everything about it, like commercially and just the vibe is sick. Like, I think that song for me 
change the, the urban desi Punjabi space forever. Okay, and name the artist that you're hoping to collaborate with one day, like a dream artist. Um, I'd say someone like Drake, and there's a reason for that, and it's a g- very generic answer, because Drake, um, he, he understands how to shift and, and make scenes successful and make a difference in scenes, like he's done with UK rap. He understands it, and he's coming, and he's smashed it, and, and he's put and he's given that scene a, some credibility. Mm-hmm. I think Punjabi scene needs to have that credibility in the mainstream, and he can do that. I like it. I would love to see that together. Yeah. Um, if a genie granted you one wish, what yeah. would be your wish? Um, help me to sing just like Sardu Sikandar. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> that was pretty easy, right? Yeah, easy. Thank you. It's so good seeing you. High five. High five. Thank you so much. Yes, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. If you enjoyed my interview, guys, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment.